<clears throat> a lot of people who haven't seen the dynamic between Joyce and I are kind of surprised to learn that we're such good friends. Uh, we're very, very different people. And I think that's why we're such good friends. Um, Joyce, uh, I am absolutely convinced that there is some sort of cosmic and she was supposed to have been born in the 19th century. <laughs> she, if you know Joyce, you know what I'm talking about. Um, she is so natural in a cowboy hat and so unnatural in front of a computer. Um, and I'll be honest, um, and I asked Gwen to film this, so she is going to hear this. Um, in some ways, being Joyce's department chair can be very frustrating. <laughs> uh, because Joyce does things the way Joyce does things. Um, but that's also why I'm really sad that she is retiring. And in fact, uh, before I knew the circumstances, I actually tried to talk her out of it. Uh, I know she's made the right decision, but uh, while we will be, uh, assuming things go well, we look forward to advertising the tenure line, we will never be replacing Joyce because that's not um, if you don't know Joyce, or if you need a refresher, or if you just like uh, like thinking about it, uh, I'll remind you that mm -hmm. Joyce, what she was really known for, and not just in Emporia State, throughout this region, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, all the way up to Canada and down to Texas, was her first person historical, um, uh, her first person historical portrayals. Don't you dare call her a reenactor. <laughs> I made that mistake once. <laughs> once. <laughs> Joyce respects the reenactor community, but that isn't what she does. The work involved in these, you, know, you have to understand, I'm a political scientist. I was taught how to download data and analyze it with SPSS, things like that. Um, the work involved, and I've never seen anything like it, and, and the fact that she and, and others with whom she works, both within and outside of academia, teach children to do this, and I've seen them do it, it is, it's life-changing. I've, I've actually seen people whose lives were change, changed by it. They found out something about themselves in a historical character that they didn't I've seen it with uh, children, and I've seen it with adults, both. Um, Joyce is best known, I know some of you have seen her in this role as Calamity Jane, and um, it's uh, not a really big stretch. Calamity Jane was very cantankerous, she was very <laughs> independent, um, and she was a real trailblazer. Um, but what you may not know is that that was only one of a number of different historical figures that Joyce portrays. Uh, Joyce portrays Mary Fix, a uh, settler moving from Kansas, or moving to Kansas, pardon me, from Pennsylvania, um, who experienced some in her party, these would be family members, dying in a river crossing. Uh, Joyce portrays Grower Woman, a Native American, a Kansas Native American woman uh, who experienced life in Kansas before it was settled by white people. Uh, she has a whole repertoire for folks, and she also works with a nonprofit right into history with a whole team of people who expand that even more. And if you've never seen one of these, uh, you owe yourself uh, the chance. And I don't know what Joy, role Joyce will be playing, but I know she'll be there in one capacity or another because I think she has to be. It's what she lives for. Uh, I, uh, I wish I weren't giving this speech. I, I really wish she wasn't retiring. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to even, as I say, replacing Joyce this isn't an option because there's only one Joyce. Uh, although, if you biology folks, I don't know how the cloning stuff is going. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the only option. That, that's the only way you're ever can it because there's, there's never going to be another Joyce otherwise. But, um, I hope we can find someone to continue the public history tradition. Again, I'm not even a historian, I'm a political scientist. Um, I know 
how to do t-tests and talk about significance levels. Um, this was all new to me. Um, and now I can't imagine our department without it. Um, and so I really believe that Joyce and the folks in writing into history, I know they are, they've actually got an event scheduled this summer. Uh, feel free to go if you're interested as posted on our website. Um, and and uh, Joyce will be as active as she can, given the status of her health, um, that they're going to continue contributing. And, uh, and they're going to continue being a part of this department for as long as I have anything to say about it. So thank you. Well, Joyce has been an amazing ambassador from Poirier State and for uh, the discipline of history as well, and um, and she will really be missed by the university. Um, next 